Hey, hi guys. Uh, good morning. So welcome to PCF. Most of the people are requesting like how to uh, import uh, SQL data into sorry Excel data into SQL Server. Okay. In this topic, okay. In this topic, we are going to learn. Okay. In, in this topic, we are going to learn import Excel data into database. Okay. That is SQL. Okay. So for that, okay. So first, you have to install this SMS. So I have uh, my data, suppose like uh, uh, in practice files, I want to uh, take, uh, you know, this financial sample data into, so I have this data, so into uh, SQL Server, okay. So I want to take this data into SQL Server, so I want to load this, okay, I want to import this data. So for that, okay, just you, you can go here, so which, server, which database you want to, okay, I have uh, these many databases okay you can go like so you can create one database okay wherever you want to import the data just uh, right click on that uh, you can go to the task like you can go to the tables or you can go to so like sql and then go to the task there is a import data import if it is a flat file you can go with the flat file and then you can go with the import data just click on that import data and then go with the next and then there is a source okay in the source okay our source is excel right okay you have to choose the excel okay so then you have to give the path there okay so which path so where you have okay so like so this is uh specific to your path like so whatever the path you have in your machine local machine okay where you have kept the file and all so you can go and then open that path so for my for me so in this pc we have a d drive okay i have a d drive in d, in d drive i have a practice files in the practice files i have a sample uh, financial sample uh, sheet uh, excel file is there just i am uh, selecting that and then open click open and then click next so you have taken the source now you have to load into the destination okay our destination is okay source is excel and then our destination is sql server so that is the reason i am selecting the uh, sql server microsoft sql server provider for the search Just a minute, guys. So here you have to choose the destination. Okay, that is your uh, SQL Microsoft OLDB drive for the SQL server. Okay, so after that you have to go with this property. So click on this property. So if you have a direct connections, okay, if you have a direct connections, okay, you can go and then uh, like give the credentials. Okay, I am connecting to my local server. You have to give your server name. So that is the reason I'm giving the dot here. And then uh, I don't want to go with the SQL authentication. I'm going with the Windows authentication and then select the database. Okay, whatever the database you want to select. Okay, I'm going with the uh, SQL classes database and then click on test connection. Okay, you can go with the text connection. So click on the text connection and then click OK. Okay, and then click OK and then click Next. So uh, these are the option. Okay, you can go with the copy data from one or more tables or view. Okay, you can take a copy from the uh, SQL to sorry Excel to SQL. Okay, then you can uh, like click on transformation. Okay, so if you want to do some mappings or like uh, if you want to change the data type size and all, okay, you can go and then you can edit here. And then uh, if you want to edit the query and all, okay, you can click on. Okay, it's, it's automatically creating the query. So, so just if you want to edit that, you can go and then edit that. So for now, I'm not going to do anything. Just to, I want to ask this data. So that is the reason I'm going with this and then click OK. So click next and then, and then click next and then finish it. OK, so it has been successfully copied. OK, we'll check whether it is successfully copied or not. That let's, let's close this. OK, let's close this. And then refresh your uh, refresh your uh, database, and then go to the tables. Go to the tables, and then take this. You know, this is the our you know table. Okay, so just go and then uh, let's uh, try to select the data. Select start from. Okay, so this is the database, right? Just execute it see we got the data now okay this is the way we can import the data from excel to 
sql okay hope everyone like this video so if you are like so please uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed this is the first time if you are visit my channel okay please subscribe for more videos okay like someone has commented this one so that is the reason i am doing this video okay if you have any uh, like uh, this kind of things okay just you can comment that out and then whenever i get the free time so i can uh, you know um, do the video on that case okay thank you so much okay uh, thanks for that so